Stevie C. Steve here, Flipside CT, and thank you for joining me. My last video I showed Northampton Record Fair uh, up in Massachusetts, and that uh, was early in December. Got some really good finds there, uh, things I never thought I would, and met some new vendors and had a cool time. Uh, next one there for Northampton's, I think early February 5th maybe. I'm going to try to go to that one also. Uh, some really cool things. Um, I have some VCLT to show, uh, some really cool albums, uh, and uh, uh, some purchases, and uh, yeah. And before we move on, hey, how about this, um, who the heck is this, uh, where I'm going to show you uh, or let you hear a clip of a guitar solo, see if you can guess who this is. Randy, Deadwax66, uh, had wanted to send me something a while ago. I told him, you know, I I'm going to find the album. Uh, hold off. Don't worry. Um, but uh, they, we were talking about it. I believe he showed something. Um, he sent me a few albums, but also what he did send me was a book called The Acid Archives. This is the second edition. Book I don't see around often. Uh, a pretty penny. Uh, I all I can say is Randy, man. That's uh, again uh, beyond. Um, and the the thing that's great about this, you know, as you see, I I love books. I love reading. Um, this is just great material to learn from. So uh, this isn't about like the best psych albums. This is more to be obscure albums that are out there. So. Uh, for psych fans uh, from 1962 to 1985, I believe. Uh, about 5,000 records in here. And this just covers, you know, writings from A to Z um, of all different types of albums that are obscure and cool and different and folky psych. I mean, I started listening to these things. I'm just like, holy shite. So, uh... This was really, really great, Randy. Thank you so much for this. Um, really appreciate that. In addition, he told me he was going to send me the book. I didn't expect the addition apart. Uh, so when I found this, um, I was blown away uh, on what he sent me. <sighs> Something I don't have been wanting. 180 gram limited edition of Captain Beyond's first album. Um, what can I say? Uh, this is just, this alone is cool enough. <laughs> uh, but you gave me more. Unbelievable. So. Dancing on the sea of air. Dancing at the backwards. Dancing on the sea of air. Dancing at the backwards. Dancing on the sea of air. No, uh, this I think the drummer played with Dwayne Allman. This whole album is dedicated to Dwayne. Um, so this is a real a guitar album too. Okay, next and unexpected, uh, Ted Nugent and the Amboy Dukes. Um, this is a uh, Canadian. Uh, it says Canada uh, jacket made in Canada, but uh, mainstream ten. Uh, some Amboy Dukes material here. Um, of course I don't have this one and this is just out there as you know and something in the psych uh, to have this is real, another excellent I listened to all these several times blues and this is one of uh, Randy's Deadwax 66's uh, favorite artists and if you haven't checked 
Check out Randy's recent uh, video about all his blues collection. It's just unbelievable. He shows them all. You know, it moves real quick, but you get a really good insight of what he has and the diversity and, and uh, just how many are out there. But this is Jimmy Fast Fingers Dawkins. Didn't have this. Don't mo know much about Jimmy. Um, Delmax, uh, Delmark, I, I should say. Um, but you know, Fast Fingers, well, I don't know, but just cool blues. <laughs> just uh, good, straightforward blues. Excellent. Excellent choice. I'm glad to have this. Two more. And when I saw this one, I couldn't believe it because I don't have this. And uh, I, pl I pl like I said, I played this last night. Chuck Berry in Memphis. Um, this is what from 19, oh, I wanted to say the late 60s, Mercury. Um, just awesome stuff uh, to listen to. Sweet little rock and roller. So what he did was for Mercury Records, he took some of his old songs that he did, the chess, and just did different versions of it and put it out on here. Uh, sweet, sweet little rock and roller, one of my favorite all-time songs in rock and roll. Um, just fun songs and when you listen to this it's just raw and it's no special effects there's mistakes going on and that's what the beauty part of it um, was that Mercury? yeah that was Mercury uh, the other one here is a Columbia and this is a reissue and uh, Randy I uh, didn't know if I had this one and uh, I do have it, but I don't listen to it because it's all scratched up. So you got me a new copy of uh, Mick Taylor's solo album, Leather Jacket. Uh, <laughs> Mick Taylor. Um, just class style playing. If you don't know Mick Taylor, John Mayall, the Blues Breakers, check them out. Stones, um, please. This album is got some cool blues, and then it's sort of like fusion or jazzy blues. All right, let's find out who the heck is this. So, um, this week I'm off, and I'm spending time in the evenings just listening to my records and putting headphones on, and just watching uh, some, you know, surfing on the uh, iPad, and uh, reading, checking out these books behind me. And just having fun, just pulling out just random records. I pulled out one record, Jesse Sykes and the Sweet Hereafter, Marvel's Son. Not much to this album looking wise, but I really enjoy this. I got this just on the whim maybe a couple of years ago and didn't know much about it, but I love the guitar work here. Uh, Phil Wancher. Um, and Jesse moved out from Boston uh, from Boston, from Bedford, New York, to the West Coast, and hooked up with Phil, and uh, they came out with. Uh, I believe there's a there's a little more albums than this, but I love the guitar in here and her singing.
So I started looking up more about Phil. And um, as I started researching more, it got interesting because uh, I'm on the late train of Ryan Adams and uh, I've been showing videos of me buying some of his uh, albums, the reissues, etc. But there's a band that he had before he was the solo and Whiskey Town. And guess who played on Whiskey Town? Uh, for Whiskey Town and was one of the originators was Phil with Ryan Adams and I just was listening to some of it. It's called Alternate Country. Now you take that for whatever it's worth. Um, I, you know, when you think of country, everybody has a different thought to it. But um, there's a certain country style that I like. Of course, I love the old, the older country, not this contemporary. But um, listening to this. I could hear why they say alternate country, but it, it's just awesome. I mean, it has a Neil Young, it has a Stones, even a Counting Crows sounds, not country sound, but just if you combine a lot of these things, uh, really, really cool. The guitar work, um, you know, when I was listening to it, it was blowing me away. And the way it weaves, the way it intertwines, uh, um, the guitars aren't heavy, they aren't overlapping, it's not loud, there's so much space when I was li listening to Whiskey Town, and that's the way I like it. Uh, and it's not about me when they play. So I looked up for this album, Whiskey Town's uh, Strangers Almanac. And this is from like 97, and this just, I just loved the sound. Um, like I said, I mentioned Stone's country-ish. Like if you hear Far Away Eyes, I, I could just listen to that over and over again. And it, it reminds me a little bit of this style, but. Then there's that little crunchy guitars in there, which weave and it's just beautiful sounds. Um, the drummer and bass player left just before they're going to record this. There's a couple albums before EPs and one album before uh, Whiskey Town um, disbanded, which was after this. Uh, they came in here disarray. Um, Ryan Adams, of course, I just read up on this. He had some depression, drugs, alcohol. Now, a lot of people say he's an ass and a jerk, etc. I'm being really light on the words. Um, but uh, I'm just trying to find where that is. I don't see it. I'm listening to music, and I just love it. Um, but I'm sure there were some bad times, and he, did, he was nasty. I, the, everybody has a nasty smell. But what I did learn about him was... Um, there is a disease he has, and I'm looking at here, uh, Meneris, it's a French word, a French person's name, Meneris disease, very t tinnitus, uh, has to do with the ear, inner ear, and it's sort of like vertigo, uh, the room will spin, and you have these spells, and you have um, uh, ringing in the ear, and this is something that he has, and you think a guy is a musician, that's not fun to have. So, you know, depressed, did that lead to it? I have no idea, but, you know, the guy has issues and we, everybody's got issues. <laughs> Everyone's got problems. So, uh, you know, I give the guy sometimes a break, but uh, 
you know, is he nasty at his fans? I don't know. I don't want to even go there. Some of you I know don't like him, but musically, I'm just going to just talk about that and just how wonderful I think this album is and how they put this together in the time frame and the chaos that they had um, making it. Uh, because, like I said, they just disbanded, disbanded. The drummer and bass player left. They quit. And they had to bring somebody in. And uh, they brought the guys in. Um, Jim Scott, who's a producer and a great producer. Look him up and look at the work he's done. Just before, uh, just after he finished Tom Petty's uh, Wildflower album, which, by the way, is like 300 something dollars on Discogs. Um, he worked on this album with him, but he's done so much work. Check him out. Um, so uh, they came into here, but the song's not completed. So it was just like communication issues. It was just problems. They don't like this album. When I read some articles, but I love it, and I think a lot of other people like it. And it's just got such a great quality. You hold my hand. We can't mend your broken halo And all I want from you And all I want from you So, Ryan Adams, and I'm still going to stick to him, uh, he opened up for the Stones uh, on the 40 Licks tour. And that's pretty cool. You know, uh, you got to be pretty good if you're going to open that up. Uh, except one, they opened up, Living Color opened up, I think it was 89. That I wasn't. You know, I, I just don't care for Living Color. I remember them playing. Uh, anyway, off on a tangent. Uh, Ryan Adams Gold, second solo album. Um, I wanted this and needed it. Listen to it. It's still on my turn. The, all these, I'm still listening. Um, this is just just cool album. I mean, it's just unbelievable what he puts out. Really interesting. Ethan Johns. Now, the last name, Johns, as a producer, does that ring a bell? And Glenn Johns, this is his son that produced this. So, uh, also Stephen Stills' his son is on here too. So it's really interesting, the new uh, regime coming in and uh, the young ones uh, coming in and you know, putting uh, some rock and roll back in. But uh, yeah, this is a combination rock, whatever you want to call it, country. I remember Christmas in the blistering cold in the church on the Upper West Side. Baby, stood the singing, I was holding your arm, you were holding my trust like a child. Found a lot of trouble out on Avenue B, but I tried to keep it over hello. Farewell to the city and the love of my life, as we live before we had to go. Love won't play any games with you. This is really a pleasure to listen to. I know Ben, you know, Ryan Rocks, that's why he's called Ryan Rocks. Um, he loves Ryan Adams. And, you know, Ben and I have a thing for Emmy Lou, Linda Ronstadt, uh, Ryan Adams. They got uh, that little twang in there. Um, but uh, check those out. Give them a chance. Listen to it. Uh, that's about all. Um, I'm going somewhere tomorrow, or I should say uh, this week, I'll say, um, and uh, going to see something in New York City that I'm going to try to tape and show you uh, because I won't say too much, but I'll just say it's not going to be everywhere in the, in the country or world. Uh, so it's something I'm going to try to bring to you, um, which is really exciting to me. And that's about it. I hope you have a great new year. Uh, thank you all you new members, uh, subscribers, everybody who watches. 
it's all about to turn on. It's just giving folks uh, a different perspective into music and uh, just widen that horizon and listen to different things. So much out there. Again, thank you, Randy Deadwax66, for everything. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Always love you, though you're young.